Good evening, good peoples. JS here, this wonderful wet Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome, and I thank you for checking out the Daily Dose by JS. I passed the 30th segment of this daily video, vlog, journal, channel, and I plan on producing 333 more before I take a day off. I gave my word, and I've been saying, if I want what I've never had, I have to do things I've never done. Fully committing to outside help to solve internal problems, maintaining consistency in routine for an extended period of time, and changing mindset to helping people's every day are all things that I failed to do, so I did fail. At the end of it all, I've said it before, but I need to say it again, I was physically tired, mentally weak, and spiritually bankrupt. My BMS scorecard read zero. But I'm glad today that my BMS scorecard is much higher than triple zeros. There are quite a few factors that contribute to my BMS score. And like many people, the season, the weather, uh, has a great deal to do with the mood, health, and wellness. And it has to do with the you know my score. So in Boston now, it's 73. Tomorrow, high of 90. Trenton, New Jersey, 76 now, high 93. In Phoenix, Arizona, 98, high of 109 tomorrow. Seattle, Washington, 62, high of 72 tomorrow. Orlando, 81, high 92. And Jerusalem, high of 69, 89 tomorrow, and it is 68 now. My BEMIS score for today, BEMIS being body, mind, spirit, BMS, 787. So seven, I'm approaching the weight that I'm comfortable with. And eight, I'm positive, determined, and I recognize that you know it's, it's doing good things. And seven, in spirit, and maintenance throughout the day, I need to work on. But I did thank God for another day on this green earth. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the opportunities to help and create. I'm grateful for being able to wake up, and I'm, be, and I'm grateful for being able to, again, help people. So the BEMIS score is three parts of the dimensions of the eight dimensions of wellness as defined by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, or SAMHSA. Wellness is defined as feeling happiness, life satisfaction, and well-being, enjoyed, enjoying good physical health, addressing past trauma, enjoying social relationships, having purpose, and engaging in work and play with avoiding excessive stress and living in a positive environment. So the other five dimensions aside from the body, mind, spirit include social, familial, intellectual, environmental, and occupational. And I'll go over them at a later date, but right now I need to stick to the script and, and get this in so A, I can go to bed and B, I don't run out of time. Which brings me to the quote by Abraham Lincoln, which is a correction from yesterday. His quote is, folks are usually about as happy as they make their minds up to be. So that's his direct quote. But Gandhi have an even more profound quote. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. In my pursuit of happiness, I used external solutions to solve an internal problem. Now, I'm using outside help so I can learn to use internal solutions to solve internal problems and create external solutions to solve external problems. Art, video, painting, tiling, measuring, trimming, and even treatment, like the treatment plan I'm making and the relapse prevention plan that I'm making are all a part of the external solutions that come from internally that also come from help, from outside help. So eventually, I'm going to utilize the outside help to put ideas into action and create a treatment facility, which right now I just, I'm going to call it the center. With art therapy, culinary arts, creative writing, biometric education, and implementation with a workout plan with gym, uh, music therapy treatment and CBD administration with hydrotherapy. Again, that's a huge goal, but I am a visionary, and for me, it's very hard to keep it in the day when I'm thinking so far ahead. But I also know that this process 
takes a while. 25 years of polluting myself isn't going to get cured in a week, a month, maybe probably even a year. It's just like I cannot drive to New Jersey in an hour. No matter what I do, it's not. I've tried. <laughs> um, sorry, Mom and Dad. But I have. It's not possible. So just like I can't go to New Jersey in an hour, I can't drive. I'm not going to be able to fix 25 years of polluting in a week, a month, a day, a year. You know, it's probably going to take a little bit of time. But I'm okay with that. Anyway, that's my vision for the future. My immediate goal is to continue the daily dose on a consistent basis, maintaining a recovery lifestyle and working on self. I'm applying what is being taught by the village, what was and is being taught by the village, to build a strong foundation and giving back to the community. First step of reconnecting with my daughter today was put, my daughter Avery was put into motion today. Today I signed up for a parenting class and I have a lead on another parenting class. The one class called Nurturing Father and the other class is Parenting. Uh, and, and I also connected up, hooked up with a behavioral uh, health organization that's they're basically a dot connector and they help bridge the gap between my current mental health, physical health providers, all good stuff and making some power moves. In the news. Fugitive Billionaire's Building sold online auction for $734 million. Now, the guy is a fugitive. He's actually in the United States, a Chinese billionaire, billionaire with a B, and is located in Pangu Plaza in Beijing. So the building is shaped of, of a dragon's head, and it was bought by a property firm, uh, Zuchong Zayu, and... It's currently, it's in China, it's the headquarters for the American technology firm, IBM. So, you know, America's being kicked out of there, China. Hmm, go figure. Uh, and also in China, a crowd of pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong staged a silent sit-in at the same place where a group was attacked uh, last month by organized crime... Uh, tra organized attack demonstrators, organized crime uh, members with uh, iron, they attacked it with iron bars and bamboo sticks. And the demonstrators were there for almost an hour before the police came. I don't know, kind of ridiculous, but. Other news Liam Hemsworth files for divorce from Miley Cyrus. You almost were married nine months. Married December 22nd, 2018. It's okay, Miley. I'm available. Long Beach, California police arrested a man who planned the mass shooting. This dude, again, I'm not going to mention his name. Doesn't deserve, doesn't deserve to be mentioned here. Well, he's planning to shoot employees and guests at a Marriott over in California. Good job by employer, employees there. And police seized multiple high-powered weapons, tactical gear, and high-capacity magazines in searching his home. By the way... At least 28 people have been arrested since the shootings in El Paso and Dayton. So, keep an eye. See something, say something. In sports, Octavio Dotel, 45, a, picture, a pitcher for 13 teams in his career, won the series with the Cardinals, with St. Louis, and Luis Castillo, the one who played for the New York Mets and Florida Marlins, not the current Reds pitcher, Luis Castillo, they are being charged with drug trafficking. The Dominican Attorney General, Jean Allen Rod Rodriguez, announced the men were a part of a drug ring run by this guy, Cesar Peralta. Peralta is described as one of the most important drug trafficking structures in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. Wow. Music news. I still stand by my tool prediction that they're going to be the highest selling uh, album for your inocular, but... Anyway, Pete Yorn, and I'll have this in the description, Calm Down, uh, is the first album in three years, and Marion Hill, another album in three years, uh, the name of the song is Take a Number. So, with that, I hope everyone is living in joy, doing what they want to do, doing what they love to do. If not, make a call, send a text, write an email, take a walk, reach out to family, friend, doctor, group meeting, YouTube video, social media, lots of healthy, positive outlets out there. Stay hydrated and don't text and drive. JS signing off.